guys, Dr. Dex here. Thanks for coming to our channel, I really appreciate it. Today I wanna do an update on a drill that we received from DeWalt. This little power punch right here. So, got some interesting news that we're gonna test the theory today. So if you like what you see, or if you're down with theory, click that subscribe button and hit the bell icon to be notified when we're putting out new content. All right, so this drill has quickly become one of our favorites. It's the model number DCF850. It's a quarter inch cordless impact driver. We use impact drivers a lot. The cool thing about this particular DeWalt driver is right here, between here and here. That's what's cool about this driver. It's very compact. Uh, we can get in really tight spaces as deck builders. We're always building in between a 12 inch to 14 inch area, sometimes six inches. And I've been able to get this drill into some spots that I didn't think I could. So uh, I think Nazee's been kind of hoarding it though. And he's been keeping it to himself and not letting me use it too much. So he told me something the other day that I, I found very interesting and I wasn't sure if it was true or not. But he told me as he went up in battery amperage and amp hours, he says he was getting more performance out of the drill. And I'm like, hmm, that's interesting. And he said, yeah, when he, uh, when he switched from like a six amp hour to these eight amp hour DeWalt batteries, he said, absolutely, there's a difference. So let's find out if he's telling us the truth or not. We're gonna start with this little two amp hour battery. We're gonna run the same fastener in this beam and we're gonna try to see if there's any speed difference, if there's any noticeable speed difference, or if maybe you can put a timer on it. Cal, you think you can put a timer on it? All right, so maybe we'll put a timer on every time we put one of these in here and we'll see how well we do. But we're gonna start out with a real basic battery. This is a two amp hour battery, just a lithium ion in the drill. We're gonna run the speed on three for every single one and we're just gonna go straight in. I have some five inch Fasten Master ledger locks. They're a pretty heavy duty screw. And you know, there might be a little bit of difference in this beam chunk uh, with knots and that kind of thing. I'm gonna try to run a real clean line right here. I don't see any knots running right through here. So we'll just keep running screws. And we'll see uh, where we come up for speed. Okay, all right, here we go. I'm gonna start with this two amp hour. Let's just see if we notice any audio difference as we start getting more powerful batteries and we'll see what happens here, okay? Here we go. Okay, that did seem a little slow. Okay, up, what's next? We have the new PowerStack battery. This is actually only a 1.7 amp hour battery. These will be available in December. Um, I happen to score one early. There's the QR code if you're interested. Okay, this is a new offering from DeWalt. It's a, it's a similar amp hour. It's only 1.7 amp hours, but it's so efficient that it can actually do much better, last longer, more power, so on and so forth. So let's see how the PowerStack battery did, does up against the two amp hour battery. Now this is actually a little bit smaller in size. So here we go. I'm pretty sure that was faster. <laughs> As a matter of fact, that was way faster than this. Do we need to see that again? Play it over if you do. Okay. All right, so that's the champ so far. I'm gonna leave that up here. Now here's an older four amp hour battery that I gaffed out when we shot a television show and I'll give you a secret. There are two pilot episodes hidden on my YouTube page called The Deck Doctor. And if you guys wanna watch those, they're pretty cool. So to get G-Tape off of a battery, it's been like three or four years old. It's kind of tough. So this battery was manufactured in 2015. <laughs> 2015, it's a pretty good, pretty good battery. It's fully charged, <laughs> fully charged. All right, it still works, so we're gonna try it. Four amp hour, you know, eight year old battery. Let's see how it does. Not bad, but I think this battery's faster. Do you feel it's faster? I do too. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna back these three out with this battery, it's going to the side. This is still king, all right? So a 1.7 amp hour power stack battery was better than a four amp hour eight year old battery. Now you can hear the drill wind up a little bit 
at the end of that when I pulled that out. So here we go. I'm gonna do this again. Okay. Now let's pull one out with this with the power stack. Uh, that was pretty close. But I tell you what, driving them in, this one's definitely faster so far. All right, now let's try the six amp hour battery. There is one thing though I can confirm that uh, Nazi was correct when he said that he's noticing different performance out of this drill with different types of batteries. I think we've already proven that, but let's finish out this thing. Let's finish strong guys, come on. All right, so here's a six amp hour DeWalt battery. This was in 2017. Okay, so this battery is still kind of old. Still kicking it though, so we don't throw batteries out until, or we don't recycle batteries until uh, they don't work anymore. All right, here we go. Six amp hour. And just for comparison, I'm throwing the power stack battery back on there. Let's see how it does. I would say that's pretty close. You know, for giggles, since this is our newest technology and this battery's brand new, it's um, 2021. I'm gonna say this did pretty good, comparison-wise. Let's see what the eight amp hour, now we're starting to sacrifice weight for performance. Me personally, the bigger the better, man. I like to drive big fasteners with big batteries on a tiny headed drill so I can get it into all kinds of different spaces, okay? Let's see how this eight amp hour battery does compared to this 1.7 amp hour power stack. We've done reviews on these, so go back in our videos and you can hear about what, what power stack is and what the technology is all about and why it's so good compared to the old technology battery, okay? All right, eight amp hours, here we go. I'm gonna need some technical digital timing on that one. I think, I think we might've gone a little bit faster. All right, one left, a little ridiculous, right? We got a 12 amp hour DeWalt battery on a little tiny drill. These, we usually use two of these on our chop saw and they usually run all day unless we're on the chop saw religiously. Um, they'll last about six hours with two of them. But sometimes I like to throw them on a drill if I got a lot of these to run or something. But it, you're getting kind of like, it's not balanced, it's pretty heavy. Um, a little redundant to put a big this big of a battery but we're testing a theory man so let's test that theory okay here we go 12 amp hour let's do that again i'm gonna do it again here we go and just for giggles try that power stack again here we go okay that definitely took longer that definitely took longer so there you go that's your king. Now this battery will set you back as much as this drill. <laughs> but if you want the ultimate combo for the ultimate performance, with the ultimate amount of balance that, you know, this thing ain't even gonna tip over, almost like King of Django over here, then you go with the 12 volt, or excuse me, you go with the 12 amp hour battery. And you can get, catch some bicep workout with it. Oh, I'm, I'm feeling it, ah, it's starting to cramp. I say for ultimate packing and performance, I would check out a couple of these power stacks. I wouldn't invest a ton in these because I know they're gonna come out with bigger modules. They're cool for now, and if you want the ultimate and lightweight, this drill with this battery would be amazing. Just like balancing, right? It's amazing. So these are cool for like you HVAC guys and people on ladders and things like that. But man, if you wanna drive it home and you wanna drive it hard, there's your win. That's the win, all right? Let's see if it'll drive right through a knot. Now I'm just goofing off. All right, you ready? Knot. Yeah, that took a little bit longer, but it did it. <laughs> so that's pretty cool. So I would have to say my top three picks would be for overall power, and if you just need to grind something in, this battery right here, I like this eight amp hour. It gives you a little bit of pow more power, but also a little lighter weight. Ultimate uh, blend of performance and power with a lightweight is these power stacks. So I hope you got something out of this video. I kind of did. I'm pretty excited about it actually. So uh, we're gonna pick up a few more of these and we're gonna run them against the Metabo HPTs for a while. We just got a couple brand new triple hammers 
and we're gonna like do some more comparisons with that so if you like what you see or you want to see more tool comparisons uh, leave a comment below and hit us up and let us know how we're doing with this channel and also you know we always take constructive criticism or if you guys want to see something else that uh, we haven't thought about or you can't find on our page uh, drop us a line and let us know so also please click that subscribe button it's so very important to us that uh, you guys do that and hit that bell icon to be notified when we're putting out new content guys don't forget to like our videos thanks for watching have a great day